Hello everyone, my name is Dave Ordner and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build uh, mobile apps using HTML and um, the framework we'll be using is Framework 7 as opposed to um, frameworks like Ionic and Bonga uh, uh, and um, jQuery Mobile and um, Ratchet I've already taught some, some, some of this. I've taught Ratchet, and uh, my website is brainten.org. If you want to see more, you come to brainten.org. And then um, also on YouTube, if you want to see more, you come to YouTube and um, check out the um, Brainten channel. And um, I've done so many tutorials, you could always um, find out on my channel. There are several tutorials, like here, I've taught. Um, I thought cake PHP and uh, Ratchet in case you wanted to check out Ratchet. All right, I put phone gap with Ratchet here. Okay, so we are going to check out um, Framework Seven. And um, if you've coded Ionic before, this is uh, ten times easier and um, just as powerful. It does very powerful things. You can build any Android or iOS app using just HTML, CSS, and um, JavaScript. All right, if you're familiar with jQuery. Uh, this will be easy too because uh, it comes with the jQuery type of DOM manipulation. All right, to get started with Framework 7, all you have to do is visit framework7.io. And when it opens, there are many ways to install it, as you can see. There are several ways to install it, but then you just hit the download button. All right, after you hit the download button, it will download this. I hope you can see this. And then you also want to hit on the get started tutorial. Okay, after that, you will need a server to run this. You will head straight over to webserver.com, and uh, if it's not in English, you just hit the English button right here. And um, you click on download, it scrolls, it brings you down to this part of the page to download. So you select which system you use, and uh, and be careful about the how many bits uh, system you have. Mine is 64, so I'll just hit here, and it's about 50 something MB. You download it, it installs everything you need, and it's a working server. It's the shortest uh, form to build a server. Another way you can build a server is using node.js, and then that's a long cut to install it and set it up. So we just download this and set it up. All right, and um, I just want to show you a sample of some of the mobile apps that have been built using this. Um, as you can see, there are some beautiful, nice mobile apps that have been built, and um, it has very interesting features, just like Ionic. But then it is very, very simple and straightforward to understand. The learning curve is not uh, it's quite steep. All right, um, here are some of the sample apps that has been done with it, and then it has so many sample, very interesting features like accordion you can test it right straight from the home page very nice very very nice features you can test them right from the home page then you can go back and um, so many interesting things as you can see cards and uh, you can can just just amazing features so many many uh, amazing nice features all right these are picture slides uh, as when you had uh, pictures you know you can slide this, this is just amazing all right uh, i know by right now you are already already asking let us start the tutorial immediately okay the next thing um, you want to do after the download is to quickly install so you just copy it from the download folder and then move it to your one folder assuming your one server is already downloaded and install. You install your WAM server, then you start your WAM server. And I'm going to tap WAM server and I'll hit on it, enter, and then yes, of course, that starts WAM server for me. Alright, once your WAM server is started, you want to go to your www folder. When your WAM server starts, nothing happens, you will not observe anything. So I want to show you right here. Yeah, um, there is an icon at the bottom right of my screen. You can see if you click on that icon, then you click on www folder. Make sure it is green. If it is not green, you know that something is wrong with one server, which means um, something is probably um, running on the same port. Make sure you don't have your Skype on. If the Skype is on, you, you quit your Skype and restart one server. 
All right, so here we have farm server. If you want to restart farm server, you will click and click on exit, then go back and then start it all over again. So here we have a one server www root folder. Yours might have one or two files, and um, all you need to do is to create. Okay, to copy what you the framework seven we have here and then put it right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the framework seven and. Um, as soon as I have it, I will take it to my www folder, then extract it from there. Alright, I have um, requested to paste. That's my framework 7. I will um, copy it, then come to my www folder and uh, paste it. Paste. Okay, so right here, we all we have to do is um, um, to extract it, unzip the folder, and then it gets unzipped. And the next thing you want to do is, uh, of course, copy out everything here and move them one folder one level higher. As you come back to the next level of the folder and paste it. And that's how I like to run mine. You can leave yours where it was before. Okay, right here. I uh, will. I can rename this to a more interesting name and call it. Um, I just call it Framework uh, Mobile. All right. Um, the main folder you will need here is the Beast folder. This is where you can start building your your stuff. Okay. So um, what we have to do is to go to the browser and actually. Open this. I remember that the name of my 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 channel on YouTube is Brain. That's the name of the channel. All right. And um, what you just have to do is quickly localhost. Type localhost on your browser, and then uh, type the name uh, Framework Mobile. That's how to locate your framework. Alright, uh, these are sample for the for the framework, and um, but that's not just what we want. We're looking for something. Look at the folder we want to um, want to get this. Remember, um, from our folder here we have framework mobile. We have this. Alright, from the www folder, this is framework mobile. This is framework mobile. Then when you open it, we're accessing this. Look at it, this. And um, that's what we have here. Okay, so we have our first mobile app. But to make it interesting, I'm using Google Chrome. Try to use Google Chrome. So I'll right click on any part of the page, click on Inspect Elements, and um, it pulls this up. Then I'll hit this button. This button here, your, yours might be by the side, mine is at the bottom. You drag it to the bottom. But uh, I identify this button here. It says Toggle Device Mode. I'll hit on it, then it changes it to a mobile app. So um, this is all we need to preview our mobile app. And as you can see, very nice features. And in the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do um, several interesting things. And then so far, we've just built the first interface for our mobile app. All right, see you in the next tutorial. Like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.